The environment is defined by the International Environmental Management System standard, ISO 14001, as being surroundings in which an organisation operates. Surroundings include air, water, land, natural resources, plants and animals. Such surroundings may form part of the local, regional or global system. The Earth is essentially a closed loop system with materials that are needed for life to exist contained within it. Therefore, elements are constantly being cycled. Carbon, for example, is a key element that is required for life. It's cycled between four stores, atmosphere, land biosphere, oceans and geology, by processes that cause its entry and exit between these key stores. Key processes include photosynthesis, respiration, food chain uptake and volcanic activity. Other key elements that are constantly cycled include nitrogen, phosphorus and water. Deforestation can have devastating environmental consequences. Trees, for example, are able to remove large quantities of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, though their removal will contribute to climate change. Deforestation will also result in important habitats for plant and animal species being destroyed. Other implications of deforestation include the release of carbon dioxide from burning, increased soil erosion and increased level of flooding. Other human activities such as desertification, soil erosion and habitat destruction also have a huge impact on the environment. The polluter pays principle relates to the need for those who create pollution to pay for the damage that it causes to the environment. The principle is implemented through numerous means such as law, and fiscal measures that ensure that the costs associated with pollution are borne by the polluter. For example, if a river is polluted by an organisation, it is the organisation that must pay for the cleanup, not a governmental body. The precautionary principle identifies the need for change in the absence of scientific proof to prevent adverse effects on society and future generations. Pressure groups are organisations who influence businesses and government at the local, national and international level. They may cover a single issue or have numerous issues of interest. Pressure groups exert influence by lobbying governments, being involved in direct action, publicising an environmental issue and or by initiating prosecutions. Examples of pressure groups include Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth and the World Wildlife Fund. Governments are also influenced by trade associations, trade unions, professional bodies such as IEMA, the public and the media.